Hi, Jill. I wanted to go over the questions you had about the Minnesota Interest Questionnaire for your client. I think the MIQ would be a great tool for you to use with her. It's been around for about 60 years and it's been proven to be very reliable. It can be used for adults with at least a fifth grade reading level and is reliable for clients of other culture, cultures as well. Uh, it helps people find work they would be happy doing based on their needs and values. There are about 20 needs listed in the assessment. They're arranged as a part of six different values. The value categories are achievement, comfort, status, altruism, autonomy, and safety. For example, the value of altruism is connected with coworkers, social work, and moral needs. The possible occupations are grouped into six clusters based on predominant reinforcer patterns seen for those careers. For example, the first cluster includes a high preference for achievement and a moderate preference for autonomy. Some ideal careers for a person that results in this cluster might be architect, lawyer, or psychologist. The assessment has two parts, a paired form and a ranked form. The pair form asks the client to choose the statement that is most important to them in their ideal job. For example, the, an example of this would be, the job could give me a feeling of accomplishment or I could do something that makes use of my abilities. The other part is a ranked form that lists multiple statements similar to the paired statements and the client must rank them in order of importance, one being the most important and five being the least important. These are meant to help the client gain insight into their needs and values and help point them to a variety of different careers that might satisfy those needs. One thing that we should consider and discuss with the client about the MIQ is how they interpret some of the statements. Statements such as, I could work alone on the job are generally interpreted as literally working by oneself, not in a group, but might be interpreted by some as meaning they have full responsibility or autonomy. These differences in interpretations could lead to unexpected scores, so counselors should go through the results and make sure that the client interpreted the statements correctly. Overall, I think the MIQ would be great to explore with your client and would result in some pretty important insights. Let me know if I can help you with anything else on this topic.